Hello, good morning and uh, a very warm welcome to this video. We're just on the way to the uh, Weybridge Classic and Vintage Vehicle Rally at the Royal Cornwall Showground and uh, we'll be having a walk around and uh, we'll be taking you with us. We're giving you a chance to see all the cars there. There should be quite a mixture of classics to uh, cater for all tastes. We're just on the approach to the uh, rally at the moment. There's a John Julian coach, uh, which is one of the oldest removal firms in Cornwall. That's certainly one of the most original forms of transport for removing. Here we have a 1956 Austin A30. Yeah, my father had one of these as his first car. It's uh, looking pretty original. It's probably lost a hubcap on the way down here. See, it's the A30 with a slightly smaller rear window than the uh, A35. Got a Morris Traveller. Because the wood on these was actually structural, it looks like it's a feature, but it's actually supporting the roof because they made a loss on every one of these they sold because there's so much uh, production cost with them. 1971, quite a late one. Got the uh, Ford Zodiac there. And I got one of my own personal favourite cars of all time, the uh, Jaguar X308. This is a 2000 model year, 4 litre, in the Carnival Red, which I think is really the best colour with the uh, oatmeal leather. Got the Celtic alloy, or the Celtic I should say, alloys on this. Yeah. Getting a pretty rare sight now, uh, a 1994 Rover 200, and this is the very rare non-turbo 218 SD. Uh, I believe that's uh, silver leaf silver on that one. The original wheel trims. And that's supplied by uh, Klein Bay Garage is just outside of St Austell. Used to see virtually every car in the area was from Klein Bay Garages, but it's a very rare sight. Uh, now three houses stand on the old showroom. A selection of Ferguson tractors, and of course the Massey Ferguson there, the more recent one. There's a 1976 uh, Ferrari 308 uh, GT4, which is Immaculate condition. We've got a 1961 Mark II Jaguar 3.4 in the uh, Carmine Red. Yeah, 1970 E type. Got a 1968 uh, Jaguar 240, which is the very last of this uh, incarnation with the XJ coming out in 68. So these are the single bar chrome bumper and the Ambler upholstery in uh, old English white. And we've got a 8485 Capri 2.8 injection special. I believe this one's had the Turbo Techniques uh, turbo conversion. It's, uh, Possibly Caspian Blue. It's a 1972 uh, Capri 3000E, which is uh, quite a rare and a pretty valuable car these days. Another local one, of course, EAF, being an old Cornish number. Yeah, 1947 Singer 9, very, very rare. Uh, 1988 uh, BMW 316, quite a rare colour, the local car originally. 1959 uh, Austin A35 van, it has some uh, rear seats fitted, I believe my granddad did the same conversion on the one that he had. Another local car of course, a local van. 1964 uh, Daimler V8 250, it's quite rare to see one of those in Carmine Red, it's usually the Mark II Jaguars in that uh, car. Yeah, I've never seen that sticker before, we got a caution when braking in the wet. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, but uh, Things were a bit different then. <laughs> Anyone remembers the old Top Gear where Clarkson broke from 60 in a Ford Anglia? Uh, it's somewhat different to breaking at 60 in a modern car. There's a 1971 1972 Rover P6, uh, 2000 TC. 74 Beetle Jeans, it's uh, one of the later ones. Of course, quite famous for having the, uh, the denim cloth interior. Can't really see it through the uh, reflection there, but you give you an idea of the denim trim. Uh, series 3 uh, Spitfire, I believe that was for sale for about 8,000, which is uh, about the going rate for these now. They seem to have gone up a lot in recent years. In 1987 BMW 316 in uh, Cirrus Blue. 
used to see them everywhere, but they're now getting quite a rare sight. This uh, PM is uh, Guildford, I think it's from Coombs of Guildford that they were at the time. I believe this one said it's seats retrimmed. I remember when these were four or five years old, you used to get quite a bit of fraying with the seat material. Absolutely immaculate that one is. Yeah, I believe this one's been restored. It's done about 128,000 miles. To be a typical anorak as I am, the 316 badge is a little bit too far to the right. Could be socially distancing from the BMW uh, badge. We've got a rather nice 72, 73 stag. Quite rare to see it on the chrome wires. Nineteen eighty-two Talbot Alpine GL, uh, the Series Two. Only a handful of these left now, but they were a relatively common sight. Although they never really sold in the same numbers as the uh, Ford and Vauxhall counterparts. And a nineteen eighty-one, eighty-two Fiat X One Nine is quite rare these days. Original number plate. And a nineteen sixty-six Morris Thousand on the GRLD, which is an old Cornish number, so a local car. Traveller in the same colour. Also on the 66D. RS Turbo powered uh, Escort van. Of a very early Sierra here. They came out on the October 82Y, so this is literally the oldest plate you can get with a Sierra. Two litre gear, has the wheels from a Escort RS Turbo, I believe. It's only very rare to see one on a Y plate. And it's probably Caspian blue, I've got the crushed Velar interior with the, uh, with the gear, got an early cup holder there. The original uh, Central of Leicester supplied by a rear window sticker and the original uh, plates as well. Vanden Plough 4 litre R, 1965. And the uh, 1977 78 uh, Dolomite Sprint. Probably quite famous from being used in the professionals before they had the uh, relationship with Ford. Triumph Herald. In a 1971 uh, Fiat 124 Sport Spider, which is another very rare car. Mm, quite rare to see a E type in black, uh, 1968. Absolutely immaculate uh, 77 RS2000. It's fairly rare to see one in red. Now these are pretty rare now, the uh, Ford Orion, so the 1984, I believe that's ocean blue, father had a A-Reg uh, Sierra, that's the awful diesel 2.3 version, but uh, yeah it's certainly, uh, it's got uh, wheels that look quite similar to a Escort RS Cosworth maybe. Very very original, it's got the original Sandy Cliff uh, large font plate, it's quite an unusual font actually that is. A 1970 E type. Uh, sure, from memory, this one's got a five speed gear knob, which uh, almost looks like a Peugeot gear knob, possibly. Possibly a Ford gear knob. 